fishing trip a little bit early and uh, I thought I would do a once over on my kayak. A lot of people are interested in how people's kayaks are set up and this video is probably long overdue. So anyway I'll just I'll start at the bow, uh, put the anchor trolley which is on the bow. This was fitted before I actually purchased the kayak and to be honest uh, <coughs> it's not far enough forward for me. Uh, I'd like it somewhere about here. So it's probably a project that I'll do over the winter time. Uh, and this is obviously an anchor trolley which is for it to aft. So having a look at the uh, my storage hatch, this is how I power my fish finder and it's uh, a 16,000 milliamp uh, power pack, really good, it's equivalent to 16 amp hours, it's got two USB ports and you can start your car off it as well. I can get uh, fishing all day. 10 hours and only using uh, half the capacity so really good power your phone power your your vape power your uh, your camera etc so really good bit of kit and i would recommend something like this it's lightweight it's got a torch in it and uh, yeah really good obviously the hobie uh, Mirage Drive, this hasn't got reverse in it, I've never found a need for reverse, not yet anyway. Uh, maybe do some freshwater fishing for pike uh, over the winter and I'll see how that gets on just with having the forward. You can take it out the recess and turn it around and that gives you instant reverse. Uh, this is the Hobie Outback 2015, uh, limited edition. And the only difference between it the other outbacks for that age is it's got a square uh, or a rectangular hatch rather than a, a round hatch. It's got the uh, soundproof deck matting. It's got the rubberized uh, bits and pieces pockets. And this has been uh, fitted with H rails, which is not a standard fit. Uh, it's got the standard Hobie seat for the limited edition, very comfortable and I've got H rails on port and starboard side. I use the Lawrence Hook 2 fish finder, uh, no bad bit of kit, I only really use the fish finder to see the, 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 the bottom and the depth and any features on the bottom where uh, fish could be. Bit of storage under the seat for your bits and pieces. You get two medium size Plano boxes in the hatch, and that uh, handy little tray keeps them in place. Not much space inside, forward, a little bit of space aft under the seat and you can put stuff on the sides like I normally do. Got got your rod mounts, this is a rocket launcher and uh, I've just got a little rail mount on this side and you know you can use the, the rocket launcher or you can use this these are the Hobie H rail mounts. You can get them for uh, rail blazer fit or Scotty. Really good bits of kit. Got the fish finder on that, and they've got additional rod rests, and you can swap them about either side, even when you're on the water. It's got two standard fits: flush mounts, forward, and two aft. Just use a bit of PVC to lengthen them because they are quite short and inside. 
and have the standard Hobie trolley. Quite a big space aft, but I keep my uh, cool bag. And this is my anchor trolley, just the dive reel, put a float, a couple of carabiners on it. Grapnel style anchor. And I keep my drogue. This is my standard, uh, what I would take when I go fishing. Uh, either use it the anchor don't anchor much on rough ground just in uh, estuary fishing etc and I use my drogue quite a lot just to slow the drift down it's the Hobie rudder this is the sailing rudder slightly bigger than the normal fit uh, a lot wider and a little bit longer Rear hatch, don't keep much in there. Uh, a lot of guys keep sort of emergency stuff in there, uh, or if they're going camping, they can put extra bits, but I don't tend to keep anything in here. Standard Hobie paddle. And I've got a real blazer uh, mount which I have for my camera or uh, you can use it for uh, obviously an additional rod rest. And that's about it guys, that's the uh, standard Hobie Outback limited edition. Uh, got any questions or comments on how you think I can uh, fit the kayak better? Uh, welcome to answer any comments and obviously any advice would be greatly appreciated. That's it guys, uh, thanks again for watching.